What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about more Xbox rumors and really the fallout of yesterday. The big theme of today is walking it back. So, um, look, I believe where there's smoke, there's probably fire. And from these insiders, obviously, again, some of them have changed their tune from one day to the next. It seems like the idea is that some games are going to go multi-platform. Maybe, so you know how we heard about like the Indiana Joneses of the world or even Starfield, right? Although Starfield specifically I have seen is being walked back. But say the rumor about Indy, right? Comes out in December and then maybe, you know, maybe it does a three, four, five, six month thing later and it comes out on PlayStation. It seems like that is more the thing or games just coming to PlayStation much, much later versus like day one, not like Maybe the Halo stuff and the Gears of War stuff. Maybe that stuff doesn't happen. It is honestly a cluster F, uh, you know, out there. And I will take offense to some of it. I saw, and, you know, I've mentioned this guy before, and I like, you know, Jez Corden. Jez will say that. Jez Corden, I think, is a very, very good insider, but him specifically, and I did see, like, Nate the Hate, I think, was another one that kind of walked things back. Jez Corden, I saw talk about how on, you know, next week, when we get the info from Microsoft, from Xbox, it's going to make people look really silly because people maybe jump the gun. He was the one to tweet about Halo coming to PlayStation. So you can't literally tweet out the biggest franchise, exclu you know, the mascot, Master Chief. You can't tweet out to expect Halo on PlayStation and then five, six hours later say, hey, people are, people are getting a little too crazy with these rumors. They need to kind of walk it back. They're all part of it. So, you know, I mentioned him specifically because I thought that was just hilarious seeing it, but pretty much every insider is saying it now where, hey, maybe the Starfield thing was kind of jumping the gun too fast or, you know, Xbox isn't leaving the, the console space. Here's what I'll say. And I said part of this, you know, yesterday, and let's kind of like reintroduce it or, you know, re-talk about it. What I have a feeling is going to happen is no matter what they do, it is the beginning of maybe probably the end. So I said yesterday, even if you don't go all the way, even if you do this indie thing or a Halo thing or a Gears of War, you know, any of this stuff, it shows a willingness to kind of to start to leave behind your console. Now, again, like I, I'm not attacking. I, I don't actually even look at it as that big of a negative. We talked about that yesterday, right? The value of the box versus, I guess, the value of Xbox, you know, the company. They're kind of two different things. I get people being upset because if you bought an Xbox, you bought it for specific reasons and they their strategy just starts to take a hard left. Well, that screws you over, right? So I, I think there are reasons to be upset, but I really don't think it's it's the biggest deal of all time in terms of uh, like a negative backlash against Xbox. But no matter what happens, I think it still could lead to something we did talk about yesterday and what all of these insiders are kind of talking about. I saw one thing today about if they say are kind of almost polite to Sony, right? If they have this, this kind of like working relationship with even just putting some games on PlayStation, that might down the road lead to maybe Game Pass and, and a more kind of a specific version of Game Pass. Maybe not everything. And, you know, I have thought about this. It would have to be kind of different, right? If you ever actually did Game Pass on PlayStation, a lot of Game Pass games and PlayStation Plus games, they're the same. Sometimes they'll leave one to go to the other. And you can kind of see, like, behind the scenes, you can imagine the contracts expiring right, and renewing. So, yeah, that does happen all the time. And a lot of these games do uh, exchange. You know, they're the exact same thing. So if you were to ever put Game Pass, on PlayStation, you know, obviously it's different if you do it, say, on Switch. It doesn't have anything like that. But if you do it specifically on PlayStation, you'd have to work it out. Some, you'd, you'd have to do something. You'd have to really mess around with it because you'd basically be offering a good percentage of the same game Sony does. Obviously, then there's the Xbox exclusive. So, look, I guess uh, maybe we uh, got a little too ahead of ourselves yesterday. I think a lot of it will still happen. I know there's the talk today of, like, Xbox employees don't even know what's going on, and it's actually Microsoft doing it. We, we kind of talked about that, right, where it's Microsoft that's kind of upset with the money and the situation, and so they're taking the detour where it's like, hey, we need a new strategy to make more money, and we're just going to kind of override you. 
it seemed like that was always the case, and then I guess today it was kind of proven, but what it showed was that maybe Xbox employees, maybe Xbox just people in general, and maybe these people that are leaking it to the insiders, they might not even know. They might know part of it, but Microsoft is, is almost like going rogue on them, and they wouldn't know the full story. See, some of that stuff I, I do believe. You know, if it is Microsoft pulling the strings, you, you're only going to get part of the picture. You might not know the entire thing. So, Next week is going to be, honestly, it's going to be fascinating. And, and again, I'll say this. It's not even just about next week. Next week is kind of the beginning of it, and you're going to see the plan and the strategy, the beginning phases of it, but what it means for the brand and for the future, right? Like, do you expect them to say, hey, we're going to make two more consoles? Like, they're not going to, I don't think, they would say things like that. I think they would give a rough roadmap as to what games go multi-platform, which games stay, if there's like a length of time that it has to be out before you do it, if Game Pass has a future on these. Like, there are some things I could see them talking about, but saying, like, do I expect a confession? <laughs> and them saying, hey, we're going to do one more, the Echo Dot thing, and then we're going to do maybe one after that, and then we're done with the console space. I mean, they're not going to say that, you know? And I think it's almost a sense because... You know, again, maybe some of these rumors have been fake, but the push of what Xbox is doing. And again, you like you can agree with it, disagree. This video really entirely is not even opinionated on like whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. What Xbox starts to do really starting next week, the plan, I think will give us a look as to what it's going to be like, you know, years down the line. I think it'll give us a clue that even, say, some of these games, if they don't appear on PlayStation Day 1 or, you know, whatever, well, maybe does it lead to that? It, I, I honestly believe, just even from what we're hearing, it probably does. Like, that's where you're going. Um, you could, I mean, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's just a quick way of making extra money, but... I really don't buy that side of things because it's like when you do something like this, I really don't think you can go back from it. Um, because you have like the value of the Xbox console, right? And again, we've talked about this. Like it just doesn't seem like it can sell, at least compared to say PlayStation, right? And maybe it's true. Maybe, you know, what Phil Spencer said, like they're they're kind of engraved. Like people have their kind of loyalty to the brand and it's very hard to kind of switch that. So by doing a plan say, to okay if you put starfield on playstation you know a year later right you can't really walk that back you can't have like a five-year plan where we're gonna give sony a bone and we're gonna put a lot of our games there make some extra money and then pull everything back to x i really because i feel like people will just continue to follow what they've been doing playstation's already outsell and then if you put all or most let's say most of Xbox exclusives, even if they're a year, six months, whatever, on PlayStation, you know, after Xbox, that brand loyalty, that console loyalty, it actually just gets strong. And again, like, I'm not making, it's not a console warrior, like, PlayStation's better or whatever. I'm saying, can you walk it back once you've done it? And I think the answer is no. I, I really believe you can't, you can't put Halo on PlayStation, even if it's, say, two years after Halo has come out, put it on PlayStation, I don't think five years from now you can say, all right, the next Halo just on Xbox, we, we made some extra money. We're making Game Pass money. We, you know, roped in people from PlayStation. They bought it. We took our cut. They took their cut. And now we're bringing it back to us. I, I don't think that's going to work. Plus, you know, as we've said yesterday, even legal ramifications where, hey, if you're playing nice and everybody's kind of getting along, and if all of these games are just on PlayStation and Xbox is basically more publisher than console maker, it is so much. I mean, you could buy who, whoever the heck you want and who's really will sony even stop you because if there's whether it's a written thing or it just makes sense that xbox is just a publisher they can buy square enix for all anybody cares and they just still pump out games and it comes out everywhere right sony gets their stuff it basically almost is exclusive to sony anyway because they're like the only console manufacturer if that's the way it is is it easier for microsoft to uh, you know, eat up all these companies. Probably, it probably is. So you can't walk that back. You can't five years after you say we tricked you. We're not doing that anymore. Now it's all ours, and we're gonna make a new Xbox console. I don't know. I I really don't think that would work. So we'll see what happens. Gonna be very very interesting again. Not just next week, but next week's kind of the beginning. Not necessarily of the end, but it's the beginning of whatever the heck this next phase is, which is which is exciting to me. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and hope to see you all on the next one.